The treasures of the Catholic Church are enriched with beautiful devotions to the Most Holy Mother of God and our Mother Mary. So why do we have so many beautiful Marian devotions? Well, because God wills it. God wants us all to come to Jesus through Mary. We know at the wedding of Cana, it says it all. Our Lady appeals to her son. They have no wine. And our Lord listens to her and he says, and she says to them, do what he tells you. And Jesus changes the water into wine. Yes, uh, Jesus does listen to his mother. As we saw in one of our episodes, Our Lady, uh, Jesus sends his mother to warn us and give us hope. And, and he gives us these treasures. If you pray to Jesus only, well, you are only missing out on half of the formula. So Jesus plus Mary equals heaven. They are not isolated. They're not, hey, don't pray to Mary because you might offend Jesus or no, you don't. No, they are part of the same, if you like, same package. So don't miss out. Regenerdecor.comele.faith is providing you and revitalizing these treasures of the church. So in this episode, we'll learn all about the scapula of Mary. In understanding the scapula, we want to look at, well, the scapula itself was a prefigurement in the Old Testament. And the scapula, well, what is it? Well, it's a garment of Our Lady. We're going to look at its origins, where it came from and who was it given to, and how to fulfill this devotion. And there are also attached promises to the scapula and what we call the Sabatine privilege, which is the Saturday privilege after one's death. Very important. Our Lady of Mount Carmel and the name Mount Carmel is a place in Israel. It is a range of fertile forested hills about 15 miles long on the western border of the land allotted to the tribe of Asher. It extends from the Samaritan hill country west of the Mediterranean and south to the Mount Carmel headland. Mount Carmel, which is the entrance of the Jezreel Valley, commands an excellent view of the shoreline and rises some 556 feet above the harbour of modern Haifa. The word Carmel itself, pronounced in Hebrew, Carmel in Hebrew, means garden or, or orchard. Mount Carmel has been the scene of some historical events, including some battles as well between Elijah as well as in the prophets of Baal. And for thousands of years, Mount Carmel has been revered as a sacred site of various religions. Egyptian records nearly from the 15th century BC mentioned that Carmel was a holy mountain and it was apparently regarded as such by the Assyrians and the Phoenicians as well. The Greek philosopher Pythagoras is said to have meditated on Mount Carmel, where there was apparently a temple to Zeus as early as the 4th century BC. At about 500 AD, a church was built there and a monastery was founded by some Greek monks. And the Mount Carmel is featured in the Old Testament in the books of Kings. We know that Elijah is taken into heaven and leaves his mantle for Elisha. And that they still went on and talked, behold, a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it and he cried, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. And he saw him no more. Then he took hold of his own clothes and tore them in two pieces and he took up the coat of Elijah that had fallen from him and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. Then he took the coat of Elijah that had fallen from him and struck the water saying, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? And when he had struck the water, the water was parted to one side and to other and Elisha went over. So the clothing of Elijah would be a prefigurement of the events of 16th of July, 1251 AD. So now we come to look at the history of the scapula itself. And as I said, these events in the Old Testament are a prefigurement. So on July the 16th in 1251 in Aylesford, England, Our Lady appeared to a 
Carmelite monk, a very holy man called Simon, St. Simon Stock. She offered him a brown scapula made of wool saying, quote, this shall be a privilege for you and all Carmelites that whoever dies in this garment shall not suffer eternal fire. And this privilege has been extended to everyone who wears this devotion devoutly, we call the brown scapula. So in wearing the scapula of Our Lady, we are showing our mother that we are her children. Our Lady's promise is that by wearing the scapula, she will take you under her special protection. And she will see to it that you do not lose your soul. Remember, she does promise and she will keep her promise and she will do it. After all, she is the Queen of Heaven and everything she asks of her Divine Son is granted to her. Our Lady made an additional promise to Pope John the 22nd in 1322, which is called the Sabatine privilege, which is the seventh day privilege. And here are the conditions. To wear the scapula faithfully after a valid enrollment. Now you need to be enrolled in the scapula and the enrollment process is actually in the PDF book, which you can download Catholic tradition, prayer and devotion. To to observe chastity according to one's state. That is, if you're married, well, obviously you, you enter into relation with your wife. If you're single, then you basically avoid those interactions and be pure. Thirdly, is to recite the daily little office of the Blessed Virgin. Or, in place of the actual daily office, to observe the fast of the church while additionally abstaining from meat on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Now, Saturdays is, is actually reserved for the day for the Blessed Virgin Mary itself. So on Wednesday and on Saturday, you abstain from meat and you observe the fast of the church. That is, I think it's two smaller meals and one large meal. Or, as in the common practice in our day, to have this third condition commutated to the daily recitation of five decades of the Most Holy Rosary. This commutation must be given by a priest. Ordinarily, it is done at the time of the enrollment. So, once again, you can substitute those two for this precitation of the Holy Rosary. And so the wearing of the brown scapula requires a valid enrollment. And a valid enrollment in the scapula and how to wear this scapula. As per the condition of the Sabatine privilege, one must be validly enrolled in the scapula. And as I mentioned, there is the prayers that you need, the priest needs to say, bless the scapula and then put it around your neck as well. It must be 100% wool. Now, this scapula that I have with me is 100% wool. You're welcome to actually purchase one for yourself if you like on our website, also on eBay. And it cannot be worn with plastic casing and should not be pinned or fixed to clothing. So basically, it needs to be worn around the neck, one at the front, one at the back, and it needs to be underneath your garments. It cannot be on the front. It must be touching the skin and that's the requirement of it. The images um, are allowed on the actual scapula but they are not necessary. You can just wear it without image and sometimes it's good to have an image because it reminds us of who we're wearing it for and what the promises are. I just want to remind you that the scapula and any other devotional items that we promote on our webpage, uh, Prayer and Devotion, they are not lucky charms. So we don't put them on and then, hey, I'm going to be saved. No, they are not. We need to live by them. We need to live lives accordingly. And they really remind us for us that who we are taking with us, who we do have representing us, who is with us at all times. Uh, but Our Lady has, has promised us this final victory over sin if we are faithful to this particular devotion. So here are what some of the popes have said on the brown scapula. Pope Leo XIII says, quote, The Carmelite scapula's nobility of origin is extraordinary spread among Christian peoples for many centuries. The spiritualization effects produced by it and the outstanding miracles worked in virtue of it render the scapula of Carmel commendable to a wonderful degree. Pope Pius XII says, May 
all see in this keepsake of the Virgin herself a mirror of humility and purity. May they read in the very simplicity of the garment a concise lesson in modesty and simplicity. Above all, may they behold in this same garment which they wear day and night the eloquent expressive symbol of their prayers for divine assistance. So there you have it, the devotion of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And I would like to share with you the prayer of Our Lady in Mount Carmel, which she is also the patron of this particular website, this YouTube channel, and all that we do here in our work. Her feast day is on the 16th of July. And the prayer goes like this. O most beautiful flower of Mount Carmel, fruitful vine, splendor of heaven, blessed mother of the Son of God, immaculate virgin, Assist me in this my necessity. O star of the sea, help me and show me herein that you are my mother. O holy Mary, mother of God, queen of heaven and earth, I humbly beseech you from the bottom of my heart to succor me in this my necessity. There are none that can withstand your power. O show me therein, that you are my mother, our lady, queen and beauty of Carmel, pray for me and obtain my request. Sweet mother, I place this cause in your hands. Thank you for tuning in. And may our lady of Mount Carmel and to whom this apostolate is dedicated to guide and protect you on your journey to heaven. God be with you.